Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I'm Emmanuel, I'm an Airbus pilot and in today's video we are going to have a look at that little switch over here. The high altitude landing push button on the oxygen panel of the Airbus A320. Now the first question you may ask yourself is why on earth is that switch located on the oxygen panel? Surely enough you would think about different things when considering a high altitude landing. Well, you are rather right, but at the end of the video you will definitely understand. So. The high altitude landing switch is basically located on the oxygen panel because it changes when the oxygen masks are deployed. That is also the reason why it is located next to the mask manual on push button on the oxygen panel. Now, the A320 is basically certified to land at a highest elevation of 9400 feet in the standard certification, but there is a difference available as an option from Airbus. And if the high altitude landing system is fitted, then according to EASA certification, the airplane can land at elevations up to 14,100 feet and according to some different regulators certifications, even up to 14,500 feet. Now Airbus itself states on their website that the A320 family is certified to operate in areas with altitudes up to 14,500 feet for both CFM and IAE engines. Now, in the EU that means you can land up to 14,100 feet, or rather for European operators, and in other parts of the world probably 14,500 feet. Now, this leads us to a problem, and the problem is rather simple. Now, what are you going to do with your cabin pressure then? Now, the A320 by default is going to give you the cabin pressure, excess cabin altitude, ECAM warning when the cabin altitude approaches and exceeds 10,000 feet altitude. So that is obviously going to trigger the memory items and therefore leads to an emergency descent being conducted. Now, since obviously when landing at such a high elevation you don't really want that, we had to come up with a way how to avoid all these problems. Now, when you program a landing at an airport that is located that high, for example, El Alto Airport in La Paz in Bolivia is located at some 13,000 feet elevation, then what the system will do is to maintain the cabin pressure at normal levels for the flight, and during the approach it is going to raise the cabin pressure to the elevation of your destination airfield. It's price to shorten the time at which this elevation is directly proportioned to the cabin to as short of a time as possible, since above 10,000 feet hypoxic effects can already start to occur, and for people who are, for example, very strong smokers, those effects may even appear earlier from altitude up to 6,000 feet. Now, to give you some idea, the standard human's night vision is already impaired at 6,000 feet elevation, so even when you are just doing a normal flight at normal altitudes at night, you are probably not going to see as well as you would if you were located at a lower altitude. Now, back to our high altitude landing switch then. Generally, at 14,000 feet cabin altitude, the passenger oxygen masks are going to deploy. Now, our aircraft is certified to land at 14,100 feet, so obviously we need to change something. And this is where the high altitude landing switch comes into play. Now, when this switch is activated, the threshold at which the oxygen masks deploy is raised from 14,000 to 16,000 feet of cabin altitude. And that's basically what the switch does. And that is the reason why it is located on the oxygen panel of the A320 overhead. Right, so I do hope that you found this one interesting. That's really all there is to say about it. There is really not all that much more to add regarding the high altitude landing system for the A320. Now, if you are generally interested in high altitude operation and a couple of examples on how to convert those, then do let me know in the comments below and we might just about find ourselves flying that A320 into La Paz in the future. Thank you very much for your attention, thank you for watching, I do hope that you enjoyed this one. Be sure to let me know your opinion in the comments below, and I am looking forward to see you all again on the next one. In the meantime, be sure to like, comment and subscribe, and if you really love what I'm doing, would appreciate a small donation through the Buy Me Coffee link in the video description below. Thank you for watching, and see you all again on the next one.